keep in mind when you're doing this job after you're done, you're going to want to go to a local garage and have the vehicle aligned so you don't have premature tire wear. Take this center cap off. We'll just use a straight blade screwdriver. Just get behind here, slide it off. Put the lug nuts off. Use a 22 millimeter socket. Now take the wheel off. Loosen up this jam nut. I'm going to use a 7 8 wrench. And just take some rust penetrant. This thing's a little bit rusty, so let that soak a little bit. Now take a 18 millimeter socket, take this nut off. And take a hammer and just hit the bottom of the tie rod to release it from the knuckle. Just like that. Now when I take off the tie rod, just count how many turns you have. So one, two, three, four, five, seven, 21. 22, and write that number down. Now I'm gonna take a large adjustable wrench and loosen up the inner tie rod end. And loosen this up and just slide it off. Take a little thread locker, put it on the threads before you put the new one on. And line it up. And then I'll use my adjustable wrench to tighten this up. If you have the ability to use a torque wrench and torque this, you want to torque this to 74 foot-pounds. And take the outer tie rod. One, two. And then count the turns that you counted before. Three, 21, 22. Take the jam nut off. I mean, the uh, castle nut off. And slide it in the knuckle. Slide the stud part into the knuckle. Put the nut on. I'm just going to use a pry bar, pry down on the outer tie rod end to prevent the stud from spinning. And just snug this up a little bit. This is the 18 millimeter socket. And torque this to 37 foot pounds. And if the hole doesn't line up for the cotter pin, just tighten the castle nut till it lines up. A little more. Should be good. Put the cotter pin through. And take my cutters. And just bend this over and just trim the excess. Tighten up this jam nut. I'm going to use a 13 16 wrench. And if you have the ability to torque it, torque it to 36 foot pounds. There's a grease fitting right here. Just take a grease gun and give it a couple pumps. And then I'm really give it a couple pumps till I see the boot move a little bit. And that's good. Put the wheel back on, and the lug nuts, and now I'm going to torque these lug nuts in a star pattern or cross pattern to 140 foot-pounds to tighten the wheel down evenly. And just go around again, double check. And put the center cap on.